Hello everyone and welcome to another Mafia Godfathers video. In this video we are going to do a walkthrough for you on the slush fund mission of the Cluckenbell Farm Raid. These missions are given to you by Vincent who was a uh, security guard for the Diamond Casino and if you played through that story, spoiler alert, he gets released at the end of the uh, missions and you find out whenever this update came out that he enlisted as a police officer and he is breaking away from kind of being a cop to help you raid the Cluck and Bell farms and get rid of uh, some cocaine that they're making. So uh, we're going to show you how to do slush fund here. So as you see at the top, it says, I have an opportunity for you, some unorthodox but profitable collaboration. I can't say more over text, but step one plays to your strengths, asset forfeiture. So you can see Kevin and I, we are going to play this as a duo, and this is going to be a series of videos for all of the setup missions and the finale, so make sure you check out the other videos that we post after this one. Now I'm going to click play, and we'll get started. Hey yo. Did I do good? <laughs> So you are not going to see the cutscenes here because we have played this before. Um, so if you are playing this for the first time, you're probably going to have a cutscene with Vincent talking to you. So uh, just know that you're not going to see that in these videos. So if you need to pause them, go right ahead and do so. So we start coming out of this garage here, and Vincent's going to talk, and I'll shut up. Okay, so now you see on the map, oh, Vincent is still talking. I wonder if it keeps them awake at night, knowing you might reappear at any moment to diligently fuck their shit up. So I'm going to show you quickly, while Vincent is not talking on the map here, that there are two locations you have to go to. A and B. And they're both over here. Now, they, these locations, I do, I believe they may defer uh, whenever you are playing different times. Uh, so, B, so far for me, every time I've played, it's been in the same location. But I'm not sure about A entirely. But you have to go to both of these and clear out the money laundering businesses to get the money for the setup for this particular heist. So I'm going to go to A, and Kevin is going to go to B. Now, uh, both of these places are buildings you have to go into, and if you had a money laundering business for the biker update, then you'll remember what the money laundering business looked like on the inside. Uh, it basically looks like a bunch of washing machines that are uh, cleaning money, or creating money, or whatever they're doing. So, both of these are pretty similar to each other. Uh, I think there's a little more resistance at B than there is at A, just from experience. So, park here. And... Uh, here are a couple of people that you're going to see around. You have to clear out these guys. Nope, nope, don't go up the ladder. I don't want that done. There we go. And we are playing this on hard difficulty too, so... Or no, this might be on normal, actually. Please don't die. My guy is not taking cover where I'm telling him to, which is nothing new. Come on, stand up. There you go. Okay. So now we're going to go to this blue dot and press the right directional button to enter. Now when you get in here, there's going to be a couple of enemies you're going to have to take out. I think there are three. So there's one, there's two, and I believe there's one more that comes out of a door towards the back. There he is. Take them out, 
And now there are gonna be green dots on your mini map, as you can see down in the bottom left. I'm gonna go up to this little washing machine or whatever this is. And all you have to do is quickly tap X or whatever button you're using for whatever console you're playing on or PC or whatever. And you're just gonna grab all the money out of this machine. And you're going to do that for each of these green dots. And after you complete grabbing the money, walk back outside. You will have some resistance as far as um, the folks coming after you. I don't think this door opens. Oh, it does. I've never been in here. I just want to see what was in there. Okay. So back outside and you will have people coming to you in vehicles so uh, just try to drive well and avoid crashing and you should be okay now let's see there are a couple people out here that are angry with you for stealing their money but you know say la vie um now back to my car and Kevin is still working on B, so after Kevin is done, we will be able to go to the final place to finish the mission. A little bit more resistance set B. Yeah, there, there are several people at B whenever you get there, and uh, more than more so than A. Oh my! Win! Oh no, I didn't win. I learned some crazy corkscrew jump. Okay, so now that Kevin is done, it says, deliver the cash to Vincent's lockup. Well, in the story, this lockup has been ignored by uh, the FIB or whatever it is, IAA, whatever organization owns this lockup, and uh, Vincent has access to it. So this is basically your home base for this entire operation. And it is where we started, so just so you know, you're going back to that same place. Like Alright, so here we are. Let's turn into this parking lot here. Delivered cash. Now we're just gonna wait for Kevin to arrive. Use the same storage lockup we used last time. It's still nicely off the radar. And then, it's, it's, then uh, pull on the screen. Switch to my my vision. It's the same way crashed a whole bunch of times. <laughs> Yeah, I was watching your little icon, and I saw it turning around a couple of times. I was like, oh, uh, you can tell that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could tell just by the way that it's facing. You just crashed again, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so Kevin's a couple blocks away. When he gets here, uh, we will finish the mission. And again, when this mission finishes, you're just going to see us go into the final uh, you know, payout screen and everything for the mission. Uh, but for you guys, if you're playing it for the first time, you will go into a cutscene after this, and Vincent will explain some more stuff to you. But every time after that, you're just going to get this. So the leader will not get paid for the setup missions, just so you know. Only the people that the leader hires to um, help him will get paid. But the leader does get paid more for the final setup. So I hope that video helped you to learn how to do slush fund easily. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Be sure to check out the entire set of the Cluck and Bell Farm or Cluck and Bell Raid um, videos. And you'll have that whole walkthrough to help you through it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.